Hey guys, and welcome back to Best Practice TV. This is Ask Wednesday, this is your day. And what's really exciting about that is we've had a whole bunch of questions on what I can do in my organization to improve safety. So what I'm gonna take you through is ISO 45001, some of the updates, but let's just have a quick chat about hazard identification, risk assessment and control. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a ton of questions have been coming into us lately and this is Ask Wednesday, it's your day, so I'm gonna answer this question, how can I improve safety in my organization? Well, what you can definitely do is you can have a look at a safety management system. ISO 45001 is due out at the end of this year, but there are a couple of standards that already exist. There's ISO 18001. So if you're not sure about what policies and procedures to write in your organization, you can have a look at those international standards. So what we can look at with the adoption of a management system is the core part, which is all about hazard identification, risk assessment and control. And we can get all textbooky about this, but one of the examples that I like to use is, well, let's all sit around and chat about what scars we've got or what injuries we've had or what accidents we've seen. And then we can say, well, could that happen in my organization? Because more often than not, yes, it could. So could you fall down the stairs? Could you cut yourself? Could you hurt yourself? You know, could you fall off something? You know, could you be hit by a forklift, a truck, a car, a train, all those sorts of things? If the answer to those questions is yes, then we can start to think about some of the big things that can happen in an organization. And we can say, well, we've seen those things happen. Could that happen to us? Yes, it could. How would we prevent that? Oh, okay, well, maybe let's hold the handrail when we're walking down a set of stairs, or let's have a think about, you know, fatigue and those sorts of things. So I think that's a really good way to to learn from accidents without actually having them, which is, you know, in a lot of cases can be quite damaging to an organization. So it's thinking about hazards, you know, thinking about what hazards are more important, and that's where we talk about risk assessment or prioritization and then control. So what are we gonna try and do to minimize the impact that those things are gonna have? And ultimately, when you, the first thing you wanna do is try and reduce the, the consequences. So you wanna try and reduce the potential for injuries, the, the significance of injuries and incidents, and definitely don't wanna have fatalities. And then the second thing you want to start looking at is the frequency. So how often could those things happen and try and do things to pull down frequency. Taking people out of a situation, you know, you're eliminating them from the situation, which is going to eliminate the hazard and take them out of it. And then obviously minimizing the amount of people that are exposed to a particular thing in your business is going to be the second part. So that's a quick summary. There's, there's tons more out there on safety, but that's from us here at Best Practice. We want to try and help you guys improve your safety. And that's been the question for today on Ask Wednesday being your day. Have you had a look at our Facebook page? We've got lots of videos. That, that some of them are getting some amazing amount of views and we're very grateful to you, our audience, for that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and, and keep asking questions. We've got tons of questions coming into us, which is really exciting. We love answering them. That's what we're here to do. We're here to help you to improve every day. Have a look at our YouTube channel because there's been a couple of great little clips there. And our LinkedIn page, that's one thing I'd like you guys to just draw yourselves attention to. If you've got time, jump across onto the LinkedIn page to help you guys, to educate you, to give our view on the world, if you like, on our LinkedIn page. And it's for you, it's to help you guys improve every day. So keep improving every day. We'll see you soon.